thank you for your Mectron piezo surgery purchase. This video will walk you through unpacking your new device, proper setup, care, and maintenance, as well as sterilization parameters and key points to remember that will help you get the most from your investment. The manuals that accompany this device include the same information and are a helpful reference should you have specific questions. With the black case in front of you, release all four latches, two in the front and one on each side, by pulling the latch open from the bottom. Open the case lid. Inside, there is a foam insert tray over the device itself. Remove everything from the tray, placing each item in the setup area, and then put the tray aside. Now, remove the device and place it in the setup area, making sure that the device is facing toward you. Remove all items from the left side of the case and place them in the setup area. Return the upper foam tray to the black case, then close the case and set it aside. Take a moment to inventory all of the items in the setup area. You should have the following. Please note that quantities and accessories may vary based upon actual items ordered. Piezo surgery device, hanger bar for irrigation, metal handpiece holder, plastic handpiece holder, foot pedal, power cord, handpiece and metal tray, infusion set, pump tubing, K8 torque wrench, insert tips, and a backup non-LED cone. For purchases of the Piezo Surgery Touch, a complimentary foil cover sample is also included. Once all items are identified, it is time to set up the device. First, take the hanger bar and insert the straight end into the small hole at the rear center of the device console. Next, select which handpiece holder, metal or plastic, you would prefer to utilize. The metal holder may be mounted at one of four locations on the device itself. The left front, right front, left end, or right end. There are two small holes into which you would insert the metal prongs of the handpiece holder at each of these locations on the device base. The plastic handpiece holder may be utilized instead and can be placed anywhere you have a flat surface. Many clinicians prefer this option so that the handpiece may be placed and kept in the sterile field. Now we will attach the tubing to the handpiece. Locate the long clear pump tubing stored in the Ziploc bag and retrieve one piece of tubing from this package. Remove the handpiece from the metal tray and identify the plastic triangle shaped connector at the end of the handpiece cord. There is a small silver spike on this connector. Place one end of the pump tubing on the silver metal spike, then twist and push the tubing until it is fully seated. Next, locate the irrigation tubing. If you purchased the sterilizable infusion set, the irrigation tubing will be a smaller clear line with a metal connector on one end and a metal spike on the other. Otherwise, you may have a disposable infusion set, which utilizes the same tubing, but features plastic components instead. Insert the connector end of the irrigation set into the open end of the pump tubing. In order for the device to function, there are three components that must be properly plugged in. The power cord, foot pedal, and handpiece. First, we will attach the power cord. The port is located on the right-hand side of the rear of the device. Insert the female end of the power cord into this port, and then plug the male end of the cord into a standard 110 volt outlet. Second, take the foot pedal out of the plastic bag and remove the twist tie from the cord. The port for the foot pedal connection is to the left of the power cord portal on the back of the device console. It will look like a Category 5 or Ethernet connection. Be careful not to break the plastic tab off of the foot pedal connector. Insert the connector into the port, then turn the device console around so that you are facing the front and top of the device. The third and final item to plug in is the handpiece. To ensure that there is no residual moisture in the connector, spray compressed air into this connector. Next, look at the handpiece connector and find the word UP printed on it. Then, align the connector with the port on the front center of the device base fully seat the connector into this port. Now that the handpiece is connected, take the pump tubing and wrap it around the right side of the device toward the back. There is a small black plastic box on the back of the device, which is the peristaltic pump. Open the pump housing by sliding the plastic cover directly up toward the ceiling. 
Remember, never touch the foot pedal while the pump lid is open, as it could lead to injury. Feed the pump tubing all the way into the pump opening, ensuring that it is fully seated and is not pulled too tight or too closely to the tube connector. Close the pump housing over this tubing. Follow the remaining tubing to the irrigation spike at the very end. Insert this spike into a bag of sterile water or saline, which will hang from the hanger bar. The device is now fully assembled. Press the power lever on the left side of the device to the on position. The device will beep and flash through the warning signals at the bottom of the display. The device default settings are Level 3 Irrigation, Endo, and Light Off. The first step to prepare for a procedure is to prime the handpiece with irrigation. Make sure to aim the tip of the handpiece toward an area where it's okay to deploy water, such as a sink, bowl, or cup. Looking at the glass touchscreen, you'll see the words Pump Flush illuminated in the lower right corner. Touch this and then tap the foot pedal once to initiate the pump flush cycle. This cycle will start at an irrigation setting of 6 and automatically decrease until it shuts off when the flush is completed. The entire cycle lasts approximately 20 seconds. Next, we will practice installing and removing the insert tips. It is important that this step is practiced by all involved personnel to ensure that everyone knows the proper procedure. Remove the clear plastic protecting the threaded portion at the tip of your handpiece and discard it. Take an insert tip and twist it onto these threads by hand until it stops. Hold the handpiece straight up with the insert tip pointed toward the ceiling, making sure that you are grasping both the lower and upper sections of the handpiece at the same time. This is very important, as repeatedly applying torque or pressure while holding in the middle or too low on the handpiece could compromise the handpiece itself or the connection to its cord. Locate the K8 torque wrench, which looks like a small black cup, and place it over the insert tip with the open end pointed toward the ceiling like a cup. Grasp the wrench from the side, not over the top, and then turn it clockwise until you hear a loud click. To loosen and remove the insert tip, use the torque wrench in the same manner, but turn it counterclockwise. There will not be a loud click to loosen the tip. Next, we will go over the recommended steps for cleaning and sterilization. To clean and prepare the device and accessories, you will need distilled or sterile water, a dish, a bowl, enzymatic detergent with a mild pH of 6 to 9, a soft, lint-free cloth, such as microfiber, which should be above 500 grams per meter so that it's less likely to scratch. When laundering, avoid fabric softener to prevent smudging. And a soft-bristled nylon brush, such as a post-op or soft-bristled toothbrush. If you are using Enzymec by Mectron as your enzymatic cleaner, dilute the detergent with water from a 1 to 8 to 1 to 16 ratio. You will need enough solution to separately run the pump flush cycle into the dish, for the initial soak of the wrench and any tips into the bowl, for the ultrasonic bath of the wrench and tips, and to wipe down the device, foot pedal, and all external parts. Remove the silver spike from irrigation and place it in the soaking bowl with enough of the enzymatic solution to just cover it. Aim the tip of the handpiece toward an area where it's okay to deploy liquid. On the device display, press Pump Flush, then tap the foot pedal once to initiate the cycle. Next, take the silver spike out of the enzymatic solution and place it into a small dish of distilled water and repeat the pump flush sequence to ensure that all enzymatic detergent is flushed out. Finally, take the silver spike out of the cup of distilled water and run one final pump flush cycle to pump the remaining fluid out, and then power off the device. Next, open the pump housing on the back of the device, pull out the pump tubing, then close the pump door. Disconnect the handpiece from the device at the front. Remember, the handpiece and cord are one unit and do not come apart. Disconnect the pump tubing from the silver spike on the handpiece connector. Remove the small silver tube connector that links the smaller and larger tubing together, as well as the silver metal irrigation spike. Place the silver tube connector and the metal spike into the bowl of cleaning solution. Remove the insert tip from the handpiece by using the K8 torque wrench, cup side up, and turning counterclockwise until you feel it loosen then continue twisting off by hand. Never leave an insert tip on the handpiece for sterilization. 
Place the insert tip into the cleaning solution with the tube connector and metal spike. Remove the cone from the tip of the handpiece and wipe it down with enzymatic solution, then with distilled water. Bag the cone separately for sterilization. Wipe the entire handpiece and cord with the enzymatic cleaner. Finally, wipe all pieces again with distilled water to remove any cleaner residue. Use a soft bristle brush dipped in cleaning solution to wash any residue from the exposed end of the handpiece where the cone was removed. Pay close attention to the threaded pin the inserts screw onto, the visible parts around the pin, and both the internal and external parts of the front terminal. Under warm running tap water, rinse the head by angling the handpiece down. Rinse until no residue is left, using caution not to submerge it or to get the cord and plug wet. Lastly, use compressed air to blow all the remaining water out of the two tubing pieces and the handpiece cord and connector. On the device itself, remove the metal handpiece holder and the hanger bar from the console. Next, disconnect the foot pedal from the device, pushing down on the plastic prong of the connector and gently pulling back. To clean the device surface, use a microfiber cloth dipped in the enzymatic solution, then wipe again with distilled water. Once it is all wiped down, you may also use a separate microfiber cloth to dry the entire surface. Repeat this same cleaning process on the foot pedal, wipe with enzymatic cleaner, then distilled water, and then dry. Cleaning of the tips and wrench is of the utmost importance due to their contact with biological debris. Soak all of the above for 10 minutes in enzymatic detergent solution. Remember, diamond-coated insert tips are single-use only. After soaking, use a soft bristled brush to gently scrub the entire surface of each part until all debris is removed. Place the tips and wrench in a mesh bottom stainless steel instrument tray, then add enough of the fresh cleaning solution until all pieces are completely covered. Place the tray in the ultrasonic cleaner at 140 degrees Fahrenheit and sonicate for 10 minutes. Remove all parts and rinse thoroughly with tap water, then visually inspect for leftover debris or moisture. Use compressed air to ensure the interior and exterior of the tips and wrench are completely dry before starting the sterilization cycle in order to prevent rust and corrosion. Finally, prior to sterilization, the torque wrench must be lubricated with a surgical-grade non-oil-based lubricant such as barrier milk. Spray once into the open end of the cup, wipe any excess, and then bag for sterilization. All accessories should be sterilized individually using a single-use medical steam sterilization pouch of the appropriate size. Do not allow pieces to touch when sterilizing multiple instruments in a cycle and ensure that the maximum load is not exceeded. Sterilization of components requires a pre-vacuum steam autoclave. Do not use a gravity displacement or flash autoclave. Pre-vacuum autoclave for a total exposure time of 4 to 5 minutes at 270 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit, ensuring never to exceed this temperature range. Allow a drying time of 20 to 30 minutes. If the handpiece is even slightly warm, do not use it. Upon completion of the sterilization, before connecting the handpiece to the device, ensure the electrical contacts of the connector are completely dry. If needed, dry the contacts with compressed air. Lastly, when determining the final placement of your device, here are a few things to keep in mind. Do not install the device above or near heat sources. Make sure there is adequate air circulation around the device, particularly for the fan located on the back. Do not stack on top of other devices. And the console should not be kept where water can fall onto it or pool under it. Thank you again for your business and partnership.